Today I want to take you through the ultimate time management and productivity tool and it's called Toggle, T-O-G-G-L.com. Now Toggle is known as the ultimate productivity tool and it is so simple, super simple to get up and running and so easy to use. Now for those of you who are running an agency or you've got a number of clients and you've got to do your end of month reporting, this will be a brilliant tool and I'll show you how we use it or how I use it in order to generate some of the stuff and remember all the tasks that I've done over the course of the month. Now this is one of the trickiest things, but since moving to Toggle, it has saved so much time and effort at the end of the month for that end of month reporting. So let's jump in and have a look how to use Toggle and how easy it is and how you can use it uh, to save a lot of time and just make your life so much easier, focusing on one task at a time. Now, as you can see, I've logged into toggle.com at T-O-G-G-L.com. And when you go there for the first time, you'll notice some really cool kids doing some really funny things and they're getting their time tracked. It's very, very funny. So well done on that one, Toggle. What I want to do first of all is show you how if you're an agency or if you've got client reporting or even if you're an employee and you need to report to your boss or your superiors on exactly what you're doing on a daily basis, then Toggle is a brilliant tool for that. At the end of every month you can have a really clear and concise report of exactly what's going on. So what I want to do is just jump straight into my toggle. Now I'm already logged in so I'm just going to go to my timer but normally you would have to log in there. Now here's my main dashboard with all the relevant projects that I'm working on and all the various tasks that I'm doing and so on. So right now if I wanted to create a new task I'd go creating my new toggle review and how to video. And then I would select the right project. In this case, let's just say it's for my uh, my business profile booster. And then all I need to do is click on start. Now it'll start working away in the background. And when I finish the task, I can jump back in and press stop. So it's really, really super easy. Now over the years, many of us, myself included, have gone through probably dozens of various time management tools, getting things done tools. You know, we've all absorbed the David Allen getting things done mentality and that mindset. And over time, I've really found Toggle. This one is such a great little tool. So as I said, what I wanted to do first of all is show you some end of month reporting, especially if you're reporting to clients or you're just not sure what's going on for the, for the whole month there. So what I need to do if I wanna run a report at the end of the month, I just jump straight into reports and I've got a summary detailed or weekly. Now I usually pop into detailed because when I create a client report, as an agency, when we need to report to our clients, we need to report on everything that we do. So what we would do, pop in here instead of this week, go to last month. And then these are all the tasks that I did last month for all the clients. Now what I'll do is I'll go and select a project. So let's say for example, I click on this particular project and click on apply. So I've selected a various project there and, and it doesn't matter who it is. It, um, I've, as you can see, I've widened that out. But as I scroll down, you'll notice all my tasks are associated there and all the various times. Now you'll notice some of them in this particular case, the duration for some of these is three seconds. Now these particular tasks take a lot longer than that obviously but sometimes what I do is I just put it in the timer just so I know what's happened at the end of the month so at the end of the month this is the most important thing not necessarily how much time I put on it although that is a great little productivity tool to know how much time you're spending on various tasks so what I can do at the end of the month is I can just scroll through because there's no way I can remember what happened at the start of the month 30 days ago in order to report for every individual client there's just too many and there's too many tasks so as you can see here I've got all my tasks for the particular client for that particular month and, and and as I said the time actually doesn't matter so as you can see here I can then go in and update my monthly report put all the details in there and bang my report is done this has been a game changer for myself and my the people that work in the company as well because we're able to report so efficiently so that's one of the great tools now another great tool with toggle when we go to the timer, is it really helps you focus on one task at a time. Now, there is a little bit of a quote I grabbed from the American Psychological Association, and they suggest that multitasking can cost as much as 40% of your productive time. Now, you've probably read lots of things about multitasking, it's not possible to multitask, and you're just kidding yourself. Basically, it's the changeover between the time 
when you're changing tasks, sorry, it's that changeover that keeps throwing your mind out and, and it absorbs a lot of your time and effort. Now, if you're multitasking during the day, you might think you're a genius and you're getting a lot of work done, but you'll probably find at the end of the day that you are dead tired. It's this chopping and changing between different tasks, your mind having to refocus on a new task, getting distracted and then pushing yourself over here, doing a bit of work over there. At the end of the day, sometimes you might find you're absolutely exhausted just check how much multitasking you were doing that day. When you're focusing on one task at a time, you can be ultra productive and get a lot of things done. So what I find here is when I've hit start, as you can see with this video here, when I click start, I focus on that activity and then I click on stop and then I move on to the next activity. So very, very helpful there. Now, the other thing, obviously, it does help you identify how much time you've spent on certain tasks. Now that's really handy, okay? Obviously, when you're when you're systemizing and when you're creating your business and you're putting all the tasks together that you might be doing for a client, it's really handy to know how much time that you're spending on each task. Now, one of the tasks that I do is video, so it's good to know how much time it's, I spend on the videos. I also do the graphics. I go into Photoshop and I create graphics for the various blog posts. So if I go to Profile Booster, And then we pop down to say, for example, one of the blog posts. All these particular images here are done using Photoshop and I pop in there and do that. Now, I, I always wanna know what sort of time frame it's taken me to do these various images, such as that one there for the video, do the video ones, not that one. Uh, and yeah, that one there for Facebook or Twitter or the various social media channels. So it's really good to know how long it takes because you need to put a value on your time that it, that you can see how much time it's taking you to do various tasks. Next, of course, is to work out whether that your time is worth doing that or whether you need to actually be outsourcing these particular tasks. Now, in our agency, we, we outsource to various uh, people and especially uh, video rendering and that type of thing. We do a lot of that with various outsource marketers and then we are charging per hour. So what I like to do is have a bit of an idea. I always do the task myself. I always systemize it and I always document the task that needs to be done. In fact, let me show you our procedures folder. I won't show you everything that's in there, but I'll give you a bit of an idea. So just let me uh, bring up that. Okay, so here's the folder. So I just wanted to show you as an example, when we've got our various tasks, we like to procedurize and document all the processes that we actually do on a daily or regular basis for ourselves and for our clients. So as you can see here, there's quite a lot of tasks that we actually do. So one of the things that is really handy with Toggle is that when you're looking to outsource and if you're getting charged per hour or, or what or the outsourcer is charging you per hour, it's good to know how long it's taking you so you can justify with them or why is it taking you so long or you can work out that that person's ultra productive. So there's a couple of really good reasons why you'd want to use Toggle. Apart from the end of month reporting will just revolutionize your end of month reporting. It makes life so much easier and you can always go back to see that you completed tasks back in time. It's such a great Great record keeper and it is so easy to use. Now one of the things I haven't actually gone into at this point in time is the Chrome extension. You can actually pop it into your Chrome extension and I also use a productivity tool called Trello and it ties in very very nicely with Trello. So if anyone's out there using a another time management tool called Trello for project management tasks and that type of thing, Trello is excellent. It it syncs up with Toggle just brilliantly. So it's really, really easy to use with all of those. So hopefully Toggle, you can add that to your suite of tools that you actually use to help you more productive on a daily basis. And hopefully that'll make you and your agency and all the people that you work with nice and productive. So simple, doesn't take a lot of time and it's so intuitive. So well done Toggle. I love, I love the program. Well done on creating such a great tool and, uh, and I hope lots of people get some great value out of it. So if you like this video, then please like it and subscribe to our channel. Or if you feel someone could benefit from this video, then feel free to pass it along as well. We'd love that. Thank you very much. Also, feel free to click the videos on this page to get more ideas and strategies to help boost the authority of your business.